probably the easiest noodle you could ever make, or dumpling, which is the usual debate over these guys. Spatzel is the German's answer to fresh pasta. In a bowl, mix two cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of whole milk, four large eggs, a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, and of course, freshly cracked black pepper. Whisk this all together until a smooth batter forms, like this. Get a large pot filled halfway with water and bring to a boil. You are going to also need an ice water bath handy. I like to submerge a strainer in mine to make fishing these guys out later way easier. Now there are a few methods of cooking your spatzel. We're gonna talk about two of the more common and then go over why one is my preferred. Take your batter and spread it on a small cutting board or evenly across a small plate. With an offset spatula or even a butter knife works, start scraping little sections off into your water. I like to dip the knife in the hot water to help release it from the blade in between pieces. This is going to be the easiest shaping of any noodle you've ever seen. Allow them to cook until they begin to float, about one to two minutes, and then they're done. It's really that simple. I shock mine in ice water, that way you can prepare this ahead of time, but if you are going to eat these immediately, it's not completely necessary. Although you might fall in love with the little extra bounce it adds just by using this technique. So try it at least once and see how you feel about it. Now the other way of getting this done is how you see it more in commercial settings. Take a small colander with little holes, place over your boiling water, and using a bowl scraper or even a spatula, you can press the batter through the holes, allowing them to drop through and cook in a similar way. This is the lesser of the labor-intensive methods. Not that either of these are grueling tasks anyway, but yes, sure, this one's easier. But the yield are these small little pea-like noodles or dumplings, or whatever you'd call them at this stage. I like to bite into my spatzel, have some chew to it. This just kind of gets lost in texture for me. Perfect comparison, side by side. Looking at these, which one would you prefer? Yeah, I thought so. As a side dish, I like to keep this pretty simple. Get about two tablespoons of butter, melt it in a pan, and let it go until it begins to get golden. This would be the first stage before butter starts transitioning into brown butter. Once you've reached this stage, add your spatzel. We're going to have the butter brown simultaneously while we're reheating and searing our spatzel. In this instance, our spatzel is already cooked and just needs to be reheated. Using this trick of shocking them allows me to get a nice hard sear on the noodles. So once they go in, I'll shake them around just so they're all evenly coated in that butter, but then let it sit over medium high heat so the bottom begins to sear and crust. This is going to add another level of texture we're looking for. See those crispy little pieces? That's what we're chasing here. So I added a few cloves of whole garlic. If your butter is evaporating or soaking into your spatzel too quickly, you can always, of course, add more butter. But personally, I don't want these to be swimming in butter later. Just coat it in a nice, thin layer. Add the time in the last 60 seconds. The oils from the fresh herbs will actually heat and expel themselves, giving a lighter effect of time rather than an aggressive one if we had cooked it in there the entire time. See what I did there? Finish with salt and fresh cracked pepper, and I mean, you can't get a better sidekick to any comfort meal. Am I right? You can eat spatzel just like this, or you can remix any other classic noodle dish. Spatzel cacio pepe, spatzel mac and cheese, spatzel stroganoff. The possibilities are endless, and spatzel mac and cheese sounds really, really good right now. If you're like me, though, whipping these up in a quick fix really does just hit the spot. We'll see you next time. Stay hungry, friends.